safety, there is an abundance of evidence that Nazi Germany had technology, technological advances that the United States wanted to get their hands on. Nearly immediately after World War II, we have something called Operation Paperclip. Operation Paperclip was essentially the US government reaching out to Nazi scientists, engineers, literal rocket scientists and saying, instead of pr prosecuting you for war crimes and instead of prosecuting you uh, for your involvement in the SS and, and, and the Nazi party, we're gonna hire you uh, and bring you to the United States secretly. And the US military, the government wanted something that these scientists in Nazi Germany had. What did they have? Well, they had a lot. They had technology that in many ways was better than anything we had. The V1, the V2 in particular, um, essentially the world's first ballistic missile. Uh, this was something that we had not developed. The ME262 was the world's first operational jet fighter. So in many areas, Nazi technology, particularly in terms of aircraft and missiles, was way ahead of anything we had. And the only thing that stopped them really using this as a game changer and winning the war was the fact that much of this was developed too late to be built in any sufficient numbers. And by that time, the thousand bomber raids were, were flattening the production facilities. But they had that knowledge and they had that technological know-how that we didn't have. So, of course, most famously, Werner von Braun was brought over and, and literally, this isn't conspiracy, as you say, this is documented and proven. The V-2 rocket evolved essentially into the Apollo space missions, and it's the same technology. And if you understand, you know, paperclip, the Russians also wanted in. They wanted those same scientists. There was like a, a, a tug of yeah. war. We're and the Brits. Let's yeah. not forget the British. We had something called the T forces, and the T yeah. stood for technology. These were units of scientists and engineers who traveled immediately behind the front line. And as these various Nazi uh, airfields and production facilities were captured, they would get their hands on the technology and ship it back to the UK. But yeah, everyone was at it. They were fighting both, uh, you know, above ground and then also incognito behind the scenes, fighting over who gets the corner market on the tech that these German scientists had. We have declassified CIA, post-war CIA, declassified post-war FBI documents, literally talking in CIA's case, talking about, quote, flying saucers of Germany. German engineers talking about how they worked on flying saucers. Two men in East Germany uh, are seen in metallic clothing, jump into a flying saucer, and fly away in East Germany. These are CIA, this is, these are actual government documents, intelligence documents. Uh, this is an intelligence report. German engineer says the Soviets have obtained the Nazi UFO plans. Uh, F an FBI report post-war in the 50s. Prisoner of war talking about circular aircraft rising out of a uh, German facility during World War II. So there are documents that exist that reference flying saucers, circular craft, flying craft without uh, wings, traditional wings, uh, being engineered, built, operable, flying in Nazi Germany.